Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are doing November's Oracle Card Guidance and I'm using the Madame Andorra cards again. Um, I did use them last month and I hope you don't mind that I'm using them again. I am away from home in these last two months and I don't have access to all my Oracle cards and I didn't want to carry all of them with. So I just carried a deck of tarot cards these cards and a deck of playing cards with and um yeah so i hope that would be okay i'm sure the message would be quite different since november carries quite a different energy and uh i just want to wish all of you who are celebrating diwali a happy diwali as well as um blessings for samhain you may go ahead and choose option one two and three and let's get into it so for those of you who've chosen option one, we're asking, what is the Oracle guidance for November? And so for those of you who've chosen the option number one for November, we have the following cards. We have hindrance, we have the spirit, we have the shield, and we have the sphinx. And the oracle has gone to a great um, lens today to tell us that there is, there is going to be um, a, a blockage on the path that you want to go on. So for whatever reason... Um, this is happening it's not it's there to protect you okay so things may not actually work out the way you wish for it to work out or if you imagine that you will perhaps meet somebody or if you imagine that this deal may go through now or you may um, actually get something that you've been waiting for it's not going to happen right now okay because the card has a hindrance on it so there's something in the way of that and it says fate has blocked this path for you. And my own experience is that whenever this happens, you are definitely being protected from something much bigger. Okay, so perhaps you were trying to do some kind of application, but you were going about it in a way that you were trying to do it the legal way, but you are actually using uh, means of dishonesty to get there. Well, if this path has been blocked for you it means that it's protecting you from actually being caught out and coming into quite a lot of problems if it is that you find out that you have not um, um, passed an exam it's because you need to go back and redo it there's a reason that this is all happening and it's happening within a particular timeline uh, so that other things may occur. So if you were to have that, um, pass that test or that exam now, then the best options for you would not be available. But if you were to pass it later, it would be, it would flourish, you'd flourish and you would have access to many more opportunities. So that's just two examples that I've given you of how this works. Uh, it could be that you've been planning to go somewhere and it's not going to happen or you've been planning, be, ho hoping to be invited somewhere and that's not happening. It could be that you're waiting for somebody to make a confession and that's not happening. It's just not going to happen. Okay, in November is not November is not the month for that. November is actually a month where you... It feels to me like you need to put your arms around yourself and protect yourself. And then you have an extra layer of angel arms that go around you and protect yourself. And I do apologize for the background noise. There is some uh, construction work taking place not far away from me. And I hope you cannot hear that. So it, a hindrance is actually a blessing in disguise. And if you feel that, if you feel thankful for that, and if you welcome that hindrance and you are at peace with it and you feel grateful for it, then what happens is that you shift the energy around that feeling, so around that situation. And 
you actually uh, start to, well, instead of feeling disappointed or angry or upset or start lacking faith at that moment, um, and you just say, okay, well, whatever's happening right now is happening for the best of me. And you're not having an emotional uh, upset about it. And you just simply going along with the flow and saying, fine, this is really not what I wanted. In fact, this is the opposite of what I wanted. But I know that there is a uh, something, there's something better waiting for me. I know that there's something better waiting for me than this. And this angel here, this this fairy, she's she's there to actually reassure you of that and just basically give you the heads up and say, well, there is this path has been blocked. Oh, fate has blo- blocked this path for you. But that's because in my in my understanding and my experience, it's it's because there's something so much better and so much easier and um, without a lot of hassle or without a lot of energy uh, put behind it, that's going to come into your life. Okay, so that I feel like in the first week of November, it might be that perhaps you wanted to go surfing and perhaps that's not going to work out because the waves are not going to be good. It could be as something like that. Or perhaps you wanted to go on on a hike and the weather's just not playing. Um, and so this a fate has blocked this path for you or um yeah it could be something as light as that but as you enter november that is likely to be the case that something that you were hoping to do something that you were expecting is not actually working out as you would like it to work out however there's a higher power um that is or a, a bigger a higher wisdom one could say that knows better and knows that this is not the best way for you to do what it is that you wanted to have done or you wanted to take place or yeah, whatever it is that applies to you. Okay. So as we move into the second week of November, the card we have is the spirit and it says unseen forces watch over you. And this is just a, um, a, a kind of um, reassurance that everything is okay and everything is going according to plan, you know, and that you are being watched and that you are being, you are safe and there's nothing really to be worried about. You may be prone to worrying about what is not going according to plan or you be, may be feeling a bit disappointed a bit sad you may be feeling a bit sorry for yourself and think why doesn't it work out my way and why does this always happen to me or you you may have feelings like that but you don't need to worry because you have forces looking watching over you and you may feel that and you may receive a sign to that effect as well and once again, I apologize if you hear the background sounds because I hear them very loud and clear. But I just want to get this done because I want to get it out to you today. And this is the only chance I have. And if I leave it, I will only get it out to you on the 3rd of November because uh, I just want to have time in between. So as we get into the third week of November, the card we have is the shield. And it says you're safe from harm. So there are two cards here. The two cards, the the spirit and the shield, and they're both telling you, they're both here to reassure you that it's going the way it ought to go, that you are safe, you are protected, and there's nothing that can come in the way of that. So I think that as you go along in November, what's going to happen is that you are soothing yourself and you are waiting in the wings for something that is going to happen or something that's about to happen. I think that also November can be a really difficult month uh, for in politics in the world on the world stage in terms of uh, elections in terms of um, just the way that things are unraveling and the card here is once again suggesting that you are safe and you are protected and you are going to be okay you are going to be okay 
And I don't have enough. I know this is just a tight shot here of these cards, but I don't have my usual tripod with. So this is the best I can do. And I know that you can still see the cards at least. So, um, yes, no matter what happens in November, you're going to be okay. There are unseen forces watching over you and you are safe from harm. Okay. As we come to the end of November, the, the card that you have is the Sphinx and it says, choose your words carefully. Choose your, your words carefully. Um, I think that this card is just asking you to, it's just reminding you, actually, it's not really asking you. It's just reminding you that we can be a bit more gentle in the way in which we speak to people. Um, we can be a bit more respectful. We can, we don't need to overshare. We don't need to give off too much of information about ourselves. We don't need to be so liberal in the way in which we put ourselves out there um, because it, we need to actually protect ourselves and we need to protect others. And so choosing your words carefully, the Sphinx here is saying to you, you need to simply be aware of what you are saying and to whom you are saying it. And also be aware of how you say what you are saying, because there's many different ways to express yourself. And sometimes the way in which you could express yourself could make the other person feel hurt. Or it could be that you make the other, the other person has the, the feeling that you are more hurt than you actually are. And they start to worry about you. I'm not saying that you just need to only care about others and not yourself here, but we can all be a little bit kinder than we are. And I think sometimes we may have um, been raised in a culture that doesn't always take into account the feelings of other people. They may not be as sensitive to other people, yet require that same sensitivity from those people. Or you may just be tough and you might not understand that people who are more sensitive than you or a little bit weaker um, than you emotionally may take things in a hard way. And so I think that the warning is simply to choose your words carefully. I feel that these cards haven't really given us that much here um, for November, aside from to say, just stay safe and things are not going to work out the way you wanted it to work out. Okay. And and that could be a small thing just in the first week here. But I think that what we need to actually um, be aware of is that we are safe and we are protected. And we start the new moon, we start the, the November on a new moon. So it the month begins on a on a quite a quiet note and and quite a soft note. And I think that as the month goes by quite quickly, you find that the energy gets quite, it can get quite chaotic and it can become quite unruly. And so that is why you are receiving cards like the spirit and the shield to just remind you that you are going to be safe and that you are going to be looked after in this time and there's nothing really to fear about my suggestion to you for november would be to go inward to spend a lot of time exploring the vast inner life and world that you have and and start cultivating that aspect of yourself the reason i would suggest that is because I think that in the next decade or so, you will need to be doing that. You will need to be cultivating the inner world more than the outer world. And that is the source of your power, your strength and your well-being. Okay. And so November is perhaps a chance for you to begin that. And I feel that the energy supports all of that. 
All right. I wish you a very blessed November. I know that you will be safe. And I know that whatever hindrances that stand in your way are for your higher self and for your better, for your well-being and for your life purpose. And um, may you be blessed with the proper articulation as you come to the end of the month. Also, that message doesn't necessarily have to be for the last week of November it could be through the month and I think it's always good to practice uh, speaking in a respectful and a kind manner to people all right anyway I didn't want to give you a little lecture there but I think that that's just what the card is speaking about all right many many blessings to you all and please leave your comments if you have any questions in the yeah in the comment section all right. Blessings be. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking what can we expect in the month of November 2024? What is our oracle guidance for November 2024? What can we expect? This card flew out and this card was also came out in the last um, in the last option. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the black cat, we have the gate, we have the satyr, and we have the serpent. All right. And it's very interesting that the cards, I find that the cards that are for option number two are very always, they have a hint of option number one in them. They have somehow a feeling of that. And these cards are very, um, they're almost like a follow up to the cards of number one but at the same time there are some aspects which are quite different okay so let's look at it the first card is the black cat and it says your luck will soon change all right your luck will soon change will it change for the better or will it change for the worse one is likely to think that when one receives a message like this that's likely to change for the better okay but i would say that as you step into november that you you have a bit of you you do so carefully you do so watchfully you observe what is happening around you and tread lightly tread in a way that you're not creating too much of attention and you're not drawing too much off yeah you're not drawing too much of attention to you so there is a sense that things are not as um, they are, well, let's just put it this way. There are shifting sands. Things are changing. Things will not remain the same. And that includes your luck. Your luck will also soon change. So things will either work out for the better, or it could be that it will work out in a different way. Regardless, the card that you have here is that um, there is going to be a barrier, a gate, the gate the card is the gate and it says a barrier keeps you from your goal now i just want to take a moment to apologize for the background sounds that you might be hearing there is some construction work going on near me i'm not sure you if you can hear if you can hear it if you're wearing headphones you might be able to hear it but i hope that you can't uh and i, I this is the only chance i have to record this although it's, it's going to come out on the 3rd or the 4th of November and I wanted to get it out for you today. So I apologize for that. Um, so the card you have here as we enter the second week of November is the gate and it says a barrier keeps you from your goal. So you you are being blocked in a way to to continue in a particular way. You are being told this is no entry you have to turn back. You have to go in a different way. You are being forced to do that. You are being told that you cannot 
enter this domain or that wherever it is that you intended to go, that you cannot go that way. And I think that that is actually um, something that that you, I don't think that you need to worry about that though. I think that you don't need to worry about it because things are going to be okay. Things are working out okay. So what you have here also as you enter the third week of November is the Satyr. And the card of the Satyr has revelry and indulgence. You have here a card where you are talking about enjoying. Okay, so my feeling is that this card here that says your luck is going to change tells you that it's going to change for the better because you are going to be able to enjoy in some revelry and indulgence. However, if things are not going your way and you are um, you are actually um, blocked from doing what you want to do, it may this card may indicate that you choose to um, use substances that may alter your thinking. So drugs, alcohol, etc. And or you may decide to comfort eat. Um, regardless, the, what you need to do is flip this around and let it work for you. Okay, so if you are feeling a bit dejected or even rejected during this time and you feel that you need to um, do something different so that you can overcome whatever ha the changes that have taken place here with the black cat and here where you aren't able to enter, you may feel that you want to go all out and perhaps go on a drinking spree or or do something um, that is going to alter your, your thinking. But um, I would I would suggest here that instead what you do is you use the energy of the satyr, which is quite a, a vibrant, feisty energy, and you use it for your well-being. So you take that and you um, measure measure it and use it wisely. You take this energy and you think about how you can use it to benefit you as opposed to uh, indulging yourself to the point that it does not benefit you. And sometimes revelry and indulgence is just what you need and it's exactly what one needs to balance out whatever is going on here. And these two cards together, the gate and the satyr, actually works really well in my opinion because there's here you are being here you are being stopped and here you it's the opposite of that you're being liberated oh, apologies for that background sound but um yeah you have the gate which is stopping you and here you have absolute freedom to do whatever it is that you desire and you are actually taking that opportunity and doing whatever it is that you desire there's nothing stopping you from it and it it is something that sometimes you need that sometimes if you've been too measured in your life and you have been um quite disciplined and you've been taking good care of yourself and you you haven't had a chance to explore other aspects of yourself and so that's that satyr energy coming in in the third week of november for you and as you come to the end of November, the card that comes up is the serpent. And it says a sly and subtle approach is needed. Okay, so the the card in the previous reading said that you need to be careful with your words. And this card feels like it has a similar energy. A sly and subtle approach is needed. So you are able to go in the direction that you want to go to. You are able to get whatever it is that you need However, the approach that you use needs to be sly and subtle. And I would say that these two cards, if you are able to uh, indulge in your revelry uh, in a sly and subtle way, uh, then you are going to be safe. If you, What I mean by that is that you're not going to let everyone know that you are, you are indulging in this energy. Um, how else could this energy come up for you? Well, I would say that 
um, that it could be that you could be in a works uh, space and you've been hindered from from doing whatever it is that you want to do here. And then you decide to just go all wild and do whatever you're doing with the project that you're going to take it to the other extreme and you're having fun with it. It could be something like that. It could be that um, the card says your luck will soon change and you are in a, in a kind of uh, a relationship which is not serving your needs and maybe even bordering on abusive. And instead of going further in this relationship, going to the point where you get engaged and married, and there's a barrier that keeps you from getting that because it's for your highest good and your best or your well-being. And then you leave the, the relationship or the relationship leaves you. And then you indulge in this revelry and indulgence. Um, you kind of, you know, are free finally to to do whatever it is that you you want to do. But then you also don't want to hurt your partner, your ex-partner. And so you um, you do this in a way that is subtle. And, you know, you're not doing it in, in, in the face of that person. And so, yeah, so there are so many ways to interpret these cards. And it's all going to apply to you in such different ways. But I think the, the main takeaway from this is that for you, November is a month where things could change to your benefit. And you could actually be allowed to... Um, to have something that you that's been out of your reach for a while, and that's what this black cat is. However, there will be a barrier that stops you from reaching another one of your goals, or there'll be something that creates a delay, perhaps, in that. And then you are able to indulge and enjoy and and celebrate something, or just kind of do it. But you're doing it in a way that you kind of, it's like you're stealing it. It's like you need to, to steal it away because you there's a sly approach needed here and a subtle approach. So it's quite an interesting set of cards, to be honest. The, the cards for November are really interesting. And people who have been asking me to read for November have actually, um, I found the cards really interesting because the energy shifts here now in November and it shifts and it's the beginning of the, an energy for the next few years as well. So it's quite interesting to look at and to see how that's going to play out. Um, yeah, so I wish you all a really blessed November. Regardless of what happens, you your luck is going to change. You are going to have revelry and indulgence and you just need to approach it in a subtle way and um and perhaps not let everyone know what your plans are and what you're thinking or what you're doing when you are indulging in this revelry. And um, yeah, and the barrier that keeps you from your goal. Well, I always find that it's it's actually protection. OK, so allow yourself to to just go with the flow and not be too hindered, not feel um, too hindered by this gate that presents itself. Don't be too, don't take it too personally. Don't, don't be too worried about it if things don't work out the way you want it to. Because I think for November, things are not going to work out the way most people think it's going to work out for them. And it's just going to be one of those months where things are a little bit topsy-turvy. But you can uh, slide through it, you can skate through it, and it's going to, it can be quite a beautiful time if you allow yourself to flow and not um, have too much of resistance against this energy. Anyhow, this has become a bit of a longish reading. So I'm going to say thank you. And I wish you a very blessed November. May it all work out as you wish for it to work out. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the third option, we are asking, what is the Oracle guidance for November? What is it that we need to know for November? For those of you who've chosen option number three. A 
Okay, so for those of you who've chosen option number three, I have to say that I use the Madame Mandora cards about once a year or sometimes twice a year. And I don't use them that often, but I've never had such an array of cards, uh, not just for your option, but for the other three options. They've always been quite subdued. The But, but this month, November 2024, has quite a lot of energy and it's quite a lot of change taking place. And it seems to impact so many of you. So um, yeah, just to get into it. The first card we have is the talisman. And I think the talisman uh, is actually a great card to have because it gives you the reassurance that things are going to be okay. It says that you're destined to succeed. You are destined to succeed. And that's all you need to know, right? Because if you're destined to succeed, then everything else that comes after that is okay. Because you will just go through stuff and it doesn't matter um, what you go through. You will, yeah, you will just go through stuff and you'll come out of it okay. Because you are destined to succeed. And you have the card here, the hand of fate. The hand of fate is forces beyond your control intervene. All right. So there's something destined to happen in this month of November and it could be on a political stage or on a global world stage that will impact most of us because this card has not come out in the other two readings, but something similar has come out. And I think that in the second week of November, it will be clear that forces beyond your control intervene. Now, that could be the weather. Perhaps you're planning to go somewhere and the weather comes in the way of that. Or perhaps your car is broken. Or perhaps your flight's cancelled. Or perhaps you injure yourself and you can't walk to where you are supposed to go. Um, it doesn't have to be something bad. It's sometimes just delaying you because you need to be in some other place at a certain point. You know, I um, I have this uh, a personal uh, experience where... I was delayed to go somewhere for three weeks and every day I was so frustrated because I, I had planned to go at the beginning of the month, but I ended up leaving uh, around the 22nd of that month. And when I did finally leave on that day, it so happened that I met somebody who became a really important person in my life. And had I left earlier, there would would be a very, very small chance that I would have met that person. So I just think that sometimes... We are when fate intervenes <laughs> um, and changes our lives. It's it is important. It is important. It it makes uh, it creates opportunities for us to meet with our soul friends and with our with the people who are there to make an impact in our lives in a positive way. So the hand of fate intervenes and that's most likely going to happen in the second week. Then it says the winds of change, which is kind of like a backup for the hand of fate. Um, it says the winds, winds, there are winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. Okay. So for those of you who are perhaps traveling, there may be some winds. There may be some, um, some weather that will prevent you from doing what you want to do. Or it may just change what's going on. Maybe, or maybe there is some of you are moving in November, or maybe some of you have to move in November. Perhaps there is, you're forced to move because of something taking place. Um, maybe the property near you has been bought by some conglomerate and you have to then leave because they'll be doing some industrial work near you okay that's quite unlikely for most of you uh, but um, that is the kind of thing that this card is talking about like something something changing like here you have forces beyond your control intervene your surroundings undergo a change there is some massive change coming in November and some of us can guess what that will be uh, we'll see. We'll see what that will be. Okay. For some of you, you will know what it is because it's quite personal to you. And for others, it'll be something that will be, um, 
it will it will be on a world stage and will affect us all. Okay, so then on the final week of November, we have the moon and it says you will be guided through darkness. So here you have, you are destined to succeed. And then you have forces beyond your control intervene. You have your surroundings will undergo a transition and you have, you will be guided through the darkness. So whatever is coming your way, you have the assurances already that it's going to be okay, that there's fate involved, but you're going to be okay that there's winds of change. It's affecting more than one person. It's not just affecting you. It's affecting your surroundings because they're undergoing a transition. Okay. And you have, you will be guided through the darkness. So I think that here you have what you need to be able to, you have, sorry for the mess. Uh, you have what you need to be able to achieve what it, or have where you're going to. Ultimately, you are safe. Ultimately, you're being guided and you be, you're protected. Um, ultimately, you have the resources that you need to have success. But there may be some upheaval in November. There may be some change in November. And it's it happens because there are forces beyond your control. But you are going to be guided through it and through whatever you may deem to be darkness. I think that as you enter November and as you move through November, you need to be stealthy. I need to, I need, I think you need to think about how it is that you're going to approach your days. I think that you will come to a point where you will really value your daily routines and really think about how simple life was. But actually what we tend to do is be bogged down with, um, difficulty. Uh, but in fact, our lives are quite simple. And I think that in November, you will have the opportunity to be, be able to appreciate the very simple things in life that provide you your comfort, that provide you your serenity, and that make life easier for you. Reg I feel that you are going to be fine. And I think that the changes that are taking place, which are beyond your control, are, I think they're always necessary regardless in which direction it goes in, it's always necessary. Change is upon us all, and we need to be graceful in the way we move through it, and we allow it to move through us. But you are lucky because what you have here is the knowledge that you're destined to succeed and that you will be guided through the darkness. And you have the talisman, and you have the necessary light and knowledge that you need to be guided through the darkness. So I think that you're going to be fine in November, that whatever changes take place, whatever um, uh, fate is bringing to you, your door, you're going to be safe and you're going to be successful and you're going to be guided. And that is what I, I see here for November. And once again, I, I think that just move through November in a stealthy way, think about what you're doing and start to look at the basics in your life and everything that you have in your life and feel gratitude for all of that. And I'd like to just apologize if you've heard some background sounds here uh, today. There is some construction work taking place near me. All right. I wish you all a very blessed November. If you have questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment section below this video. And I hope to hear from you. Blessed be.